Hello everybody and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. We have finished the first two worlds, we're heading off to the third world now. And as, that, as always there's more of the layer to explore now that we have new moves. Let's get started. So, if we go back to the second room with the weird grunty mosaic on the floor, we now have the shock jump disc move that we got from Treasure Trove Co. So let's see what's up here. The world entrance. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press Z. Oh, that would have been nice to know earlier. And that opens the little way to Clanker's Cavern. One of my least favorite worlds in the game, but we'll get through this, no worries. It's not, like, bad, it's just I don't particularly enjoy it. So if you'll remember, there was the, uh, evil-looking sewer pipe up there. We can now go up there, because that leads to the Clanker's Cavern lobby. Yep, there's the entrance, and there's quite a few pipes in here. Let's start by hitting this switch. And that gives us a nice way across to the entrance to the world. So not a whole lot of stuff to do in Grunty's Lair between Worlds 2 and 3, provided you explored enough for World 2. Let's jump in. Clanker's Cavern. Just the one new move to find this time, but it's hidden well. <clears throat> yes indeed, Bottles is very well hidden on this course. So, as you can see, Clanker's Cavern is a sewer, a giant sewer, and actually it's not that big. There's only two rooms. But it's still rather confusing, and it's just kind of a dreary world. I like the more colorful worlds in Banjo. It's got good music, though. So we'll be walking on pipes for most of this. So you see that open grave along, you heard that growl. If we go too close. That... I actually don't know what those are called. A muncha, I believe? They're munches. What you want to do is rat-a-tat rap into them. And they will die! And... <laughs> yeah, they're kind of creepy looking. Thankfully, they're pretty easy to deal with. Make sure you grab those gold feathers. Mambo token, another gold feather, and then basically we're on the opposite side. Because they're elevated in the air, you do want to do the rat attack rap rather than the dodge roll. The dodge roll can work, but oftentimes you can fall off a cliff or they can end up biting you. And you don't want that. Beehive here, and the yellow ginger is behind you. And that's literally it for the first room. Uh, Banjo, if I were you, I would not be swimming in this water, but Banjo doesn't care. Anyhow, the main gimmick of this level is there's a lot of underwater swimming. I don't like the underwater swimming controls. So, yeah, fun times. It's also very easy to drown. Okay, and... Hi! Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water. Want fresh air. This is Clanker. He looks very creepy, but he's actually a nice guy. So, don't worry. Anyhow, this is the main room of Clanker's Cavern. As you can see, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. It's a very vertical level. Alright, so what I recommend doing, very first thing you want to do is help Clanker get back to the surface because this is probably the most dangerous part of the level, so you might be likely to die, and if you die it's better to die earlier in the level so you have less to repeat. So to raise Clanker to the surface we're going to have to dive to the very bottom of the cavern. It's going to be rather easy to drown. Here 
here we are in the depths, and the music gets more ominous as a result. Piano's great as always. And there are notes to collect down here as well. And a Jinjo. Yeah, we'll get back to that note later. Come on, where is he? Yes, air bubble. Hello, man. Hi, I'm Gloop. Grab my bubbles if you're low on air. Well, thank goodness for small favors. Otherwise, you'd have to dive down here a whole bunch. Let's grab that green jingo. Grab the one note I missed. And as you can see, there's this giant wind-up thing here. We swim through it. It'll turn a little bit, but not a whole lot. Gloop saved my life. Because remember, when you run out of air, it's game over. Or rather, you die. Swim through it again, still not much. Let's swim through it a third time. And here we go. Just swim through three times, and it'll turn a whole rotation. There you go, Clanker. As fresh air, you find reward on Clanker's back. Alright, well now we gotta get out of here. Because our air's running out. Again, that's the most dangerous part of the level, so do that first. And now that Clanker's risen to the surface, he'll kind of bob in and out of the water a little bit. So if you wait, you can use it as a platform to get to these uh, places. Uh, hi, Clanker. He's got unusually cheery music for a super. <laughs> we killed the worm! <laughs> All right, shock jump this. Okay, on that side. Probably can use it to get to this side. Like I said, very vertical level. Ouch! That was rude. We should really get on Clanker's back now. Yeah. Yeah, Clanker is just a massive source of creep factor. He's a giant- he seems to be mechanical, but he also seems to be rather organic. It's like he's- he was like a living fish that was turned into a machine. It's very distracting. Anyhow. Clanker was kind enough to give us a jiggy. So let's take him up on his generous offer. First Jiggy of the level. Clankers, leave her now. Eat too much garbage. Help Clanker. Yeah, fixing his toothache can be rather unintuitive. So, we can climb his tail with the Talon Trot because it waves back and forth. You want to do it slowly. And jump up here, cool. Jiggy behind a grate. We can rat a tat wrap it open. You can also shoot an egg at it to open it up. And we get the second Jiggy. Cool. Kazooie's gonna have terrible stomach aches! Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I wanna jump down on this plane. I love the rat a tat wrap. We already have almost half the notes, which is kind of surprising to me. Darn it. If you get trapped under a platform underwater, it automatically sends you the underwater solar controls. <laughs> Did you want honeycombs? We've got honeycombs.
This is where it can get a little tricky. You gotta jump out, then do a double jump back in. You can get into a rhythm of it, but it can be a little tricky if it's your first time playing. Don't worry, just keep practicing. Because if you fall, you just fall back in the water. You don't even take splat. <laughs> you, you don't even splat. Alright, that's right. We already destroyed that one. Alright, well, you can, if we look at a clanker, we can see one of his teeth is gold. Gold's not exactly a good substance to make teeth out of, so let's try to help him out. You gotta shoot, I believe, three or four eggs at the two. There we go. Break this icon, clanker, swally, roar. We go up to the gap in his teeth now. We can actually go inside clanker and grab a jiggy. And... Yeah, Clanker's insides are disgusting. Again, we can see it's pretty much, pretty clearly organic muscle or blood or whatever you want to call it. But there's also machinery. Very disturbing. We're just gonna dip back out. Clanker's insides will explore more in depth in a bit. Got a gold tooth on this side too, and the camera's just great. Cool. Ugh. Clanker is really creepy, even though he is a good guy. And if you do it on that side, you get a Mumbo token. Yes, you want to collect those because Mumbo's spells get progressively more and more expensive. One thing to warn you about, though, going inside Clanker will make these worms respawn. Oh, I thought I thought it made them respawn. We already did this, didn't we? Yeah, we already did that. There actually is a pole on this side that I forgot about. Alright. So first thing we're gonna do is destroy this grate. And get the orange ginger. Good. <laughs> Extra life. Nice. Okay, out Clanker. Let's go get the rest of the prizes. So now what we have to do is tell on Trot, get these notes. I apologize for any background noise, and then we're gonna jump over here, smash the grate, and we get a hollow honeycomb piece. And if you want, you can go into first person mode and look up there to kind of get a see of what's there. I can't talk. Again, I chose a very weird hobby of Let's Playing because I can't talk. There's more stuff underwater as well. Let's go for this green pipe here. Uh, nope, Banjo. <laughs> I don't want to go in this room. It looks scary. These are the Snippet Mutants. They're kind of like the red Snippet that we found in the Treasure Trove Sandcastle. But a single ground pound is all it takes to kill them. You can also roll into them a whole bunch, but then they might hurt you. Actually, they're literally just normal snippets. They just look weird because they're in a place filled with toxic waste. Goodbye. The 
I guess you could say that's kind of the boss of the level. And then we get a Jiggy! Oh, yes, I love the Jiggy! Still got six left to get. I actually think we can do this whole world in just one video as opposed to the two, the Treasure Trove. Well, we'll see. Maybe I'll make Banjo videos shorter than my main Let's Play videos. Then there are all these pipes on the ground here. Some of them have good prizes inside. This one has notes! <laughs> no. Yeah, that's the annoying thing about the Kazooie Swim. Because it's wide strokes, you can easily miss things underwater. So don't be afraid to sort of revert to Banjo's kicking. For better control. But also keep in mind, <laughs> you do have an air meter. because the camera does not like cooperating. I recommend doing double jumps. And then we can high jump up to another G. <laughs> Banjo, what size drink do you want? Jumbo! Point, we can go inside Clanker and explore him to the depths. Wait until his bullhole pops up and then we can drop down in here. And right on top of the witch switch. Well that's weird. There's a way back there that takes us into his belly. However, there's a jiggy at the end of this corridor, and we want that. We just have to make our way past these rotating saw blades. But they're slow enough that it's not too bad. Plus, there are these black streaks on the ground where you know they're gonna pop up. As long as you're patient, you shouldn't have any problems. Kind of surprised I didn't have a problem there. Another oh, oh, clinkers inside is gross. Oh, hey, it's a flight pad. Those are whiplashes. They are very difficult to defeat. You need to shoot them with eggs. We're gonna use the flight pad to get up here. Ouch. This room looks very similar, except it's a whole lot nastier. This is where all the garbage goes to get ground up. Also, here's Bottles. He blends in very well with the flesh around him, though. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool. Does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Hold Z and press the right C button. Keep Z held and use the control stick to move around. Use it wisely, though, as this move requires gold feathers, and you can only carry ten of them. Here, take these five valuable gold feathers with you. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. You've learned all my new moves for this world. The rest is up to you. So, fun fact, when I was a kid first time playing this game, I saw this room and I'm like, oh, it's like the upper saw blade room I went through. I'll just run on through and I died. I didn't even see bottles here. Because again, he looks pretty similar to the lumps of flesh around him. Anyhow, let's show this move off. Wonder Wing Invulnerability! Oh yeah, we got another jiggy! And now we gotta go back. Okay. Banjo has a cool theme. Banjo has a cool theme. Wonder Wing and Vulnerability is very useful, but you gotta use it sparingly. Just like in Smash Bros. So now, this is an interesting row. We've got all these hoops here. One of these is green. Ooh. 
So now we've got this little race thing to do. We're timed, and we gotta swim for all the rings in order. And we get a very special reward if we do this. <laughs> Free guess is what it is. That one's tricky, you gotta high jump through it. <laughs> and the high jump doesn't have very good <laughs> horizontal movement, in case you didn't know. jump for both of those, and then the last one is down here, and it's the smallest one right in front of a whiplash, but no problem. Let's just swim through that, maybe? And now the water level inside Clanker rises up. This means that if you didn't land on the flight pad from the boil level chamber, now you can actually reach it. Just two jiggies left. Also, you'll notice there's a tunnel down here that we have not been in yet. Filled with whiplashes. Yeah. These fins also kind of freak me out a little bit. Especially since they're like parasites growing inside of Clanker. This poor fish! Clanker is the most sympathetic character in the game. Sorry, Tootie. I know you got kidnapped by a crazy witch, but... <laughs> This is a whole other level of disgusting. Anyhow, we're back in his mouth area. Fix is too fake, but we still want to collect all these notes in here. Alright, now you might be wondering, how do we get out of Clanker? There are two ways out, through his gills. And at the bottom of this is the last Jinjo. No, not the last Jinjo, we're still missing blue Jinjo. Oh, that's right, I remember where blue Jinjo is. We still haven't explored all the sewer yet. And then the other way up. So if we kept going, we would go out of one set of uh, Clanker's gills. But we want to go out this way as well because we pick up the last notes. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Thanks, Bottles. Yeah, see these gills that are flapping in and out? You can swim through them both in and out. Anyhow. There's still more stuff to collect. So let's swim into this pipe. At the end, we have a Mumbo Jumbo. I want to say there are only like five or ten Mumbo Tokens on this level. Actually, there's probably only five or ten Mumbo Tokens on every level, and I'm just remembering wrong. Another pipe here we haven't been in yet. One of these leads, yep, here's the blue ginger. That gives us the ninth jiggy, and I believe, oh yep. Yeah. So now you might be wondering where the last jiggy is. There's one final pipe we haven't been in yet, and it's an extremely long pipe. You can get in and out of it in uh, one go without drowning, but it's pretty tough. Yeah, it's this pipe here. So you see the entrance to this pipe here, and then there's a closed grate on the other side? The Jiggy's right behind that grate, and this pipe leads towards that grate. Um, thanks, camera. Where is the pipe? There it is. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can get in and out in one go. But if I drown, then I drown. That's why I saved this one for last. It's just a very long pipe. Try to hug the inside a little bit. And there's the last jiggy. Oh no, oh swimming controls. Especially when you're swimming towards the camera, they're not very good. Oh, never mind. 
When you know what you're doing, <laughs> you know what you're doing, then it's actually pretty easy. Alright, let's get out of this dump. <laughs> Literally, this dump. Sorry, Clanker, but your cavern is... Your cavern stinks in many ways. So remember that when we entered this cavern for the first time, we were facing Clanker. So we just go the opposite way of his face. This takes us back to that first cavern. So yeah, Clanker's cavern is a pretty small place in terms of the actual sewer. Clanker himself adds to the level a bit. But then there's just this first tiny entrance room, and then the giant sewer room, and that's it. Next world's a little bit longer. Actually, pretty much it. All the worlds after this get a little bit bigger. Oh, these guys don't respawn after going inside. That's interesting. Anyhow, the entrance is in this pipe. Let's get out of here. Wow, your best note score for this world is now 100. And there's one more switch we can push in here. That makes that pipe go up. Let's explore with the rest of the lobby, shall we? I've got this skirt, so when I'm thinner, it really makes me look a winner. I don't want to see you in a skirt. Oh, hey, it's Brentilda. Hey, Brentilda. Grunty wears a flea circus under that repulsive dress of hers. Ew. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Ripper. <laughs> That's Aunt Marge's dog from Harry Potter 3. <laughs> My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful. <laughs> That's the worst boy band. One more switch. Ooh. Gotta see where this goes. Watch out for the inflatable pufferfish. Ooh, that was a nice jump. Okay. Nice swampy area, a lot of moss. And the next entrance to the world. Let's open it. Okay. Well, we have not been to that room before. <laughs> it's Bubble Gloop Swamp. That's World 4. And this, despite it being a swamp world, it's actually pretty fun. There are a couple of annoying parts, but we, we all have our faults. Honestly, it's, it's easily one of the best Swamp Worlds I've ever been in. Now, before we end the video, we gotta get the Jiggy from the Witch Switch. The Grunty Mosaic's eyes popped up. Let's fix that. I don't like people's eyes bugging out. Grunty is no exception. <laughs> Alright. Your eyes popped up. Let's smash them back down. And we get a Jiggy for that. As you may have guessed. <laughs> so we only have four Jiggies now because we keep putting our Jiggies in the puzzle piece. Oh wait, no, that was the fourth Jiggy of the world. I'm stupid. We have 19 Jiggies. <laughs> Whoops. Don't pay attention to me. I'm dumb. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, tune in next time. We're going to Bubble Gloop Swamp. That's gonna be a fun world, despite the fact that you might think it stinks. It actually doesn't, and it's got groovy music. Look forward to that, until we meet again my friends, have a great day, and God bless. Hey, surprise, so you might be wondering uh, why the video hasn't ended yet, and you also might be, if you're a sharp-eyed observer, you might have not realized, um, already made a mistake, yeah. Uh, the reason I'm back here in Clanker's Cavern, and I haven't ended the video yet, is because I forgot to get the second hollow honeycomb piece in this world. It totally slipped my mind, and it's pretty well hidden. What you have to do is you gotta swim underwater in here, right near where the end of the giant long drain pipe with the jiggy in it is, and there's a hollow pipe up here with the final hollow honeycomb piece. So yeah. 
Forgot to grab that on my first visit to Clanger's Cavern. I had to record this afterwards when I'm like, oh, I forgot it. Yeah, that increases our maximum health. And also, apparently, when you leave the world and come back, as long as you rose Clanker to the surface, he's still risen to the surface. You don't have to do that more than once. So that's handy. Anyhow, now the video's going to end for real. Have a great day, and God bless.